Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden here in beautiful Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today is a gorgeous day. It's breathtakingly gorgeous. It is so beautiful. Low temperature, low humidity, clear sky, light breeze, perfect day for gardening. And I'm getting out here early and I'm going to be putting in these pink caladiums into this planter box. So come with me and let's just do a little bit of a refresh on this planter box for the rest of the summer. If you saw my north side shade garden tour a couple of days ago, then you might remember that I said that the main color theme of this whole side shade garden is green with white foliage. But if there is a color to be added in, it's pink. And so this goes right along with it. I have three of these pink beauty caladiums. These are hardy in, well, they're not hardy. They are treated as annuals here in zone seven. These will get to be 24 inches tall and wide. So this one is almost full height. They wanna be in uh, shade or part shade. And um, as I said, they're not hardy here in zone seven. So if I wanna keep these, I'll have to lift the bulbs and store them over the winter. I typically use caladiums as annuals because I've never yet succeeded lifting the bulbs and storing them successfully so that they would regrow the next year. I'm always learning and you never know, I might try it again, but uh, I often just treat these as annuals at this point. Now in this planter box, I have two Steeds Hollies and my hope is that these will eventually grow wide enough that there will be no space in between them. However, uh, they're taking their sweet time doing that. So I don't know if that's going to happen anytime in my lifetime. I don't know. Um, I also have a Hakana Chloa grass, Areola, I believe, or All Gold. I'm not sure which it is. I don't remember. This is doing really well here, uh, but I think I'm going to take this out. Um, I also have in here three wild berry smoothie heucheras, and these are a nice um, bright pink color added into this box. I also still have a tassel fern over here that only has three fronds on it, and there's one of them over here that only has a half of a frond on it so I don't think the tassel ferns are loving life in this box. Now my my plan today was was to take out this Hakanakloa, put it into a container somewhere else and then put these caladiums in their place in the center of this box. So let me get going on that. I think I have to take this out first.
Well, this is one of the quickest and easiest refresh projects of the season. Um, I, um, I like these caladiums so much. I love the colors on them and I'm really happy to have them here. I do think, however, in hindsight, that the colors of this heuchera and the, the leaf markings on the heuchera are too close to the colors and markings on the caladium. So for a perfect design, I might have chosen a darker color or a lighter color, maybe just green and white, or maybe a darker maroon colored caladium. <clears throat> or maybe I need to add in a darker colored something here and here to bring in more of that darker red, something like these other coleus that I have spread throughout the garden. So I don't know, everything's always a work in progress. I'm happy, it's pretty, it's just, you know, I think it could use a little zhuzhing still. Um, it's also not the fullest planter box you've ever seen, so I do have room to put more things in here. Uh, but for today, I'm gonna say that this is done. Now, let's go and plant up the Hakanakloa into the container that I took out of here. super happy with the placement of this. I think it's great color to add to this end of the border. It adds a new texture. It adds some height that we didn't have. I think this is going to be a really, really nice placement for that grass. Well, friends, thank you so much for coming along with me as I transplanted this Hakana Kloa out of this container, put it here, and planted those caladiums. I'm really glad that you're here with me today. Thank you so much. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, we have a lot more videos to come about planting and rearranging and just generally living the garden life here in suburban Maryland. So come with me in future videos. I'd love to have you along for the ride. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful time in your garden today. Take care, friends, until I see you again. Bye-bye.